In this episode, Cam shows us an old school technique for cleaning out a crusty gas tank. Okay, now we're working on the tank. Um, first part of business was obviously get it out and then clean out what was left in there. It was fairly clean. I uh, squirted some dishwashing liquid in there and then with the assistance of a pressure washer, um, hosed it out several times and then didn't worry too much about it because there'll be several more. Um, filled it back up with water and some uh, uh, super washing soda from uh, Arm & Hammer that works pretty good. Uh, I've done it before, but never on a gas tank. So um, you uh, use a sacrificial rod in the middle that you try to charge with positive from a battery charger. And uh, you ground the tank. And what you can't see is the end of the rod's got a little plastic cap on it where it won't ground out against anything. You shove it in there and uh, turn it on and let the big dog eat. So... Um, this will take probably all night. Uh, the rod's clean when you shove it in there, and uh, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow when I pull it out. 24 hours later. Okay, so let's see what this one turned up. Uh, the first one I didn't get great video of, but it was pretty nasty. I'm going to try not to knock any of the garbage off the rod when I pull it out here. Oh, yeah. And this was all thread, so I guess it still is trying to leave try not to knock that off in the tank I want the whole I want it out we'll be doing this again I think I got enough of it out the second time and you can really tell when it's about done the when you start your process yeah that's nice let's see how well it does That's nice. Yeah. All right, so that's the rust that's coming out of the tank, which is good. Uh, you can keep doing this as long as you clean off your anode, uh, and we're gonna do that. Uh, the, the charger, when we came out here, had significantly less on the meter than when we started, and from what I read, that is a good indicator that the it's time to do what we just did. So let's bump this back in. Let's see what it says. <clears throat> oh yeah, it was easily half or a quarter of that. Um, I've been told 24 volts is a good 
setting to put that on. You don't really have to recharge the solution or anything. You just keep going until you stop getting garbage out of it. And so we go at it again and let it set for another 24 hours. Okay, so here it is. The second time we've uh, treated the tank um, with electrolysis, I guess you'd say. A, the point being... Uh, the safety points of these I may have understated, but uh, the byproduct of this, uh, the gas that comes off of this process is really explosive. So anytime you're going to move your electrode around, make sure you turn your charger off because a spark in any dead space that has this gas in it will make a big impression on you. So uh, that being said, the other thing I may not have mentioned yet, but if I have, well, forgive me, because it makes a huge difference. Do not use any stainless uh, in this process. Don't don't use your, uh, if your sacrificial rod is stainless, um, you're making a mistake. Don't do it. There's a lot of problems with that. Um, other than that, the process is fairly harmless. Uh, the gas that comes off of this is not just explosive. It's pretty bad for you. So do this outside or in an open air space that you're not going to worry about doing bad things to yourself your lungs are blowing things up so um it sounds awful it's really not it's a fairly safe process but you've been warned uh and ask folks on the hindenburg that aren't around anymore i guess but anyway the byproduct of this stuff makes a real nasty bang so you've been warned okay another day has passed you notice the amp reading on the charger there's some dried out view of the rust that was in the tank. I'm gonna turn the charger off. We don't want any sparks. And uh, let's see what this looks like today. Still a healthy amount of crap on it, it looks like. Ah, gross. Looks like we're not done. Not even close. Okay, so that's what that goop looks like all the way down. This rod's probably, I don't know, four feet. Let's do that again. <laughs> this is so gross. Okay, plug it in and do it again. See if we can get any further. Okay. You saw what the reading was before. <clears throat> All right, getting close. And now we wait. Okay, time for the final result. Pressure washed several times. Used my sacrificial rod, which you can see laying there. A pile of rust, which I've already walked through several times, but it was huge. And then heating it with a weed burner to get rid of all the extra water and all the seams that are going to be right in here where you can see they pinch welded it. But in that seam, you had to boil all that water out, or it'll be in there when you try and waterproof the tank. So, what do you think? Think it'll fly? It's kind of steamy still. There you go. I think it'll hunt. Oh, not at all. Worried about that. Put a couple extra fuel line filters in it. And we'll be good to go. After I, uh, let it cool off. I'm going to splash some Marvel's Mystery Oil all over the inside of it. Give it a couple spritzes with that, and I think it'll be ready to reinstall.